Boom. Unbelievable. Now, you can look at multiple web pages as well. You can have multiple web pages open. So I just push this button in the lower right hand corner, shrinks it down, and I could add a new page if I want. And uh, I'll go to uh, Amazon here out of my bookmarks. So let's go to Amazon. And I love to go to the DVD section of Amazon and see what DVDs are selling. I like it especially when Disney's are at the top. Uh, <laughs> And uh, so here's Amazon coming in. Even before the whole page is loaded, I'm just going to double tap on this. And, and uh, I'm going to say, let's go to the DVD section here. And now it's doing that. And here we are. And there's a section over here on the right-hand side right there. And these are the top sellers, updated hourly. Oh, look, Al's An Inconvenient Truth is number one. All right. And here's all the other movies. Grey's Anatomy, I like that. Pirates of the Caribbean, fantastic. And so I've got this right here, and I can go back to the New York Times if I want. No? Let's zoom up to that picture so we can all see it. And again, here. Isn't this cool? Just over there, go back to this one. I can get rid of them just by hitting the X. And there we go. Isn't that incredible? Safari. <laughs> you know, if you've ever used what's called a web browser on a mobile phone, you'll know how incredible this is. I hope you never really know. <laughs> because it's, it's bad out there today. And this is a revolution of the first order to really bring the real internet to your phone. Let me show you some about widgets here. Uh, let's go to stocks right now, and we're going to load stock information off the web, and uh, just right onto the phone here. Oh, look, Apple's up. <laughs> That's great. You know, I can look at different graphs here if I want to, and uh, that's fantastic. Let's look at the percentages here. Oh, good. Good, good. <laughs> So I've got stocks right here, and uh, I can go look at the weather. Let's see what, uh, what it's like outside. Forty-nine degrees, but it's supposed to get to 61 today, so that's good. We'll just stay in here till it warms up. <laughs> now, I've got uh, Paris right here. I can have as many of these as I want, so it's nighttime in Paris. It's actually warmer in Paris at night than it is here today. Wow. Aspen. Well, no snow till later in the week. And Hawaii, oh, it's raining. That's not good. Well, anyway, here's four places, Hawaii, Aspen, Paris, and San Francisco. And again, the weather widget. Now, to conclude with the internet device section here, I want to show you something truly remarkable, which is Google Maps on iPhone. And I hit our Maps application here, and it's coming up. And it shows us North America. And I'm going to go to Moscone West. That's where we are right now. And here we are. Boom. That's where we are. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, look for something. I'm, I'm going to certainly want a cup of coffee afterwards. So I'm just going to look for Starbucks, right? Starbucks. So I'm going to search for Starbucks. And sure enough, there's all the Starbucks. <laughs> now. I can get a list of Starbucks here, so I can pick that one if I want. And uh, I can even go look at that Starbucks. And there it is, and let's give them a call. Good morning, Starbucks, how can I help you? Yes, I'd like to order 4,000 lattes to go, please. No, just kidding. <laughs> Wrong number, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, I can zoom in uh, by just, uh, again, pinching if I want to, or I can just double click to zoom in, and uh, I get just uh, higher and higher resolution versions of the map. So let's go somewhere else here that I've got bookmarked, and uh, let's go to the Washington Monument. And so here is Washington, D.C., and I could uh, just double tap and and uh, I'm going in a little further here, just double tapping in. And there's the Washington Monument there, and I'll double tap in again. And, uh, but now I want to show you something else. 
satellite images. So I just hit this button called satellite down at the bottom, and it's going to replace the map with satellite images. There we go. And uh, I can just double tap in, and double tap in again. And uh, let's, let's catch it up to me here. There we go. And let's double tap in again. This is the Washington Monument. There we go, look at this. You see people down there. Oops. There we go. Yep. Isn't that incredible? Right on my phone. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So let's go, uh, I've got another one, uh, the Eiffel Tower, which is very cool. I set this one uh, to be, uh, look at this, there's the Eiffel Tower. There's people at the Eiffel Tower, you can see. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? And here, just one last one. I have to show you the Colosseum in Rome. So again, here we are in Rome. Yeah, that's as far as we can go with the map, but we can go a little further with the satellite. There's the Colosseum. There's the Roman Colosseum. Satellite imagery right on the phone. Look at that. And that's the Colosseum. Unbelievable. Right on our phone. What do you think? Isn't that incredible? So, so, all these amazing things. This is a breakthrough internet communicator built right into iPhone. The first rich HTML email on a phone, the first real web browser on a phone, best version of Google Maps on the planet, widgets and all with Edge and Wi-Fi networking. We're very, very happy with this. Again, email, push email, IMAP free Yahoo, and almost any other IMAP and pop mail service you want to hook up to. It's the internet in your pocket for the first time ever.